So version 2.4 also has a new feature um, it's, uh, for developers called the storage SDK. Um, so to access the storage SDK is just like our, we, we access our normal um, web admin, you just open the web client. Um, it'll ask you to log in. So log in with a uh, admin password. Um, and go to four developers tab. Underneath the four developers tab, you're going to see a new uh, addition to our uh, developer resources, which is storage SDK. And you can see the storage SDK enables any easy integration of any potential storage. Uh, using the storage SDK, developers can read from or write to any storage location, uh, be it locally available, um, remote storage, even cloud servers. So creating a storage plugin um, basically requires a few implementing a, a few standard functions such as the IO stream, uh, if file exists, delete file, list of files in the folder, etc. Right. So uh, along with the storage SDK also comes an example for how to um, use an FTP server uh, as a storage location. And if you want to get the SDK, you go through and you just acknowledge that you accept the EULA and click next and the SDK will download. And there you go, you have this, the SDK for storage uh, just right here. So what it really means is that there's uh, the reason why we implemented this is that there's a lot of uh, people who want to use still some more um, traditional or, or, or even you know different types of storage arrays. So uh, one of our first uh, integrations that's being done right now is with um, Veracity's Cold Store. And if you're not familiar with it, Cold Store basically uses hard drives like tape drives. And so that's why we implemented this SDK. We, we want you guys to be able to store video wherever you'd like to. So that's storage SDK in version 2.4 of NX Witness.